So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I want to talk about uh, the importance of being able to uh, cook in an off-grid scenario. All over the news we're still hearing that uh, the power grid is not up to date. And, uh, over in the west, in Texas, they're talking about having rolling blackouts, telling people not to turn their AC on, etc, etc. So I think it's important to have the ability to cook um, if, the, if the power goes out. Now, obviously there's uh, grills on your deck, um, small camping grills if you're in an apartment, and, uh, and, and etc. And of course on your grills you, you've got gas usually have a gas ring on the side <laughs> but if you don't have a grill um, you're gonna need to, to learn how to cook um, basic uh, fire um, one of the most important things is the cookware you need to have cookware that can you can hang over a fire and it won't, uh, it won't destroy the cookware or um, release any uh, toxic chemicals while it's on there. So, black pans, cast iron, they were using it a hundred years ago, that's all they used to cook with. I do use stainless steel as well. Uh, black pans are one of the best quality you can have because you can cook on gas, electric, a fire, a grill, if they go in the oven you can put them in a fire, I can sit that down in that fire with some, some jacket potatoes inside and just leave it. Um, you can bake in the, the Dutch ovens, you can bake in them. Um, they're a really good commodity to have, especially if they say, oh, the electric's going off for three days, sorry. Um, another thing might be a good idea is uh, stock up on a few extra propane tanks for your grill. Um, right now, today, I'm just going to show you a few different things that, that I have uh, that work in an off-grid, uh, power grid down situation. Right now I've got some chili beans in there, of course, good old cowboy beans, and I'm going to move over to our small black um, wood burning camping stove, and I've got um, I've got a burger and something else going on over there. So let's go over there.
So guys, this is uh, our um, wood-burning camping stove. It looks pretty big, but it is portable. The legs do come off. Um, it's another way of uh, cooking. Uh, there is room inside that you could start uh, put a fire right up at one side and put a uh, a pizza stone or something like that in the front and that way you could cook bread or pizzas or something like that um, and also right now I've got a frying pan here and this this pan here I've got it so that the I've got a hot ring and a cooler ring as it were because I've got the fire all the way over here so I'm, I'll be using this side for frying and this side for warming um, but just another it's just another uh, another way of cooking uh, a wood burning stove I think I paid 20 bucks for it on uh, somebody online was selling it $20 it works, it works absolutely great. Like I said, it is portable. The lights come on. And, uh, like I say, it's just another way. We also have a, uh, a fire pit grill, uh, which I'll, I'll put a, a picture of that up. Um, we have two small camping grills. And one thing I will say about having a grill, uh, when you, next time you, you get a new grill, and think about... Uh, getting one that's dual that works off uh, propane and then also off um, briquettes and uh, fuel like that the one that I have has a, a gas ring and then it has a gas grill and then right beside it, it's all part of one it also has the same size as the gas grill where I can cook off briquettes um, so even if you start to lose uh, if, if over a prolonged period and you run out of gas you can still cook on the right hand side of the grill by using uh, wood um, but that's all I've got for you today guys uh, I want to give a big shout out to all our subscribers um, we just hit 10,000 views of the channel which is great we started the channel uh, about a year ago and uh, we've been very just slowly uh, processing through how to do everything and this last month or so we've started uh, creating more content and making more videos etc starting to think more about how we present the videos and we've uh, we've got, we've really shot up in, in the uh, analytic ratings um, so thanks to everybody who subscribed 10,000 views that's awesome We've done the majority of that in the last six weeks. Um, subscribers keep uh, subscribing. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, I've learned so much in the comments uh, from you guys. Thank you. That's one of the reasons I did the, video, the channel was for me to learn also. And hit the subscribe button, hit the notification so you know when we make another video and guys thanks for watching, I will see you on the next video